I, I want to start, Michael, uh, with the world. And uh, you were a guest here in 2013, which was also an election year. And uh, Julia Gillard was Prime Minister, uh, which it's just remarkable, isn't it? it was, are we on to our fourth since then? Uh, and uh, I asked you um, uh, that night about uh, the state of the world. What, what were the things that were playing into um, you know, the, the, the state of the world and therefore into Australia. And we talked about a, a, a real tension between uh, this great optimism of economic prosperity, China, uh, but uncertainty, real uncertainty about also uh, the, what nation states were up to. Mm. Um, but that was, that was the general tone. Mm. How have things changed since? Well, first of all, thank you for having me, Sally, and thank you to the Wheeler Centre, and thank you, everybody, for coming out on a beautiful Melbourne night for a conversation. Um, look, things are much worse. Um, things are much less optimistic, I'm sorry to say. Uh, I know that the PM says that there's never been a finer time in human history to be, to be alive, but um, in the last three years since I was on this stage in 2013, um, the Middle East state system has really come apart at the seams and it's close to collapse. Um, you have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people killed in the Middle East, um, millions displaced. You have uh, four civil wars in the Middle East. You have a liberal international order that is becoming less liberal, less international and less orderly. You have a West, and Australia is part of the global West, but you have a West that is drooping in confidence. You have aggressive challenges to the West um, in the form of Russia and China, Iran, in terms of non-state challenges, Islamic State. Um, there's, of course, still grounds for optimism here and there. And for example, the, the results of the Paris climate change talks, I think, were much more uh, encouraging than the Copenhagen talks a few years before we we chatted, but it's hard not to look out on the world with a very um, dark lens because there are lots of reasons to be gloomy.